Hey everyone, how's it going today? Coach Alvarez here, back at you another episode of Coffee with Coach. It's uh, Monday, just after the 4th, so I hope everyone had a great, safe, fun 4th of July weekend with the friends and family. Hope everyone's back, getting ready to make some moves again, do some grinds. I know some people are still on vacation, but uh, for those that are back to work, let's get to it. Let's make some things happen. So, um, yesterday... I was listening to this uh, podcast, one of the episodes of um, Jocko, and uh, it really caught my attention and kind of hit home with me because I can uh, definitely feel what he was uh, talking about. So let me go ahead and go into it. What um, he was talking about, he got a uh, he made a Twitter post, right? So one day, I guess he made a couple a couple posts because. Uh, he get he gets up at like four thirty every morning, so he posts his workout, you know, sweat and the barbell and that whole thing. And then later on in the afternoon, I guess he posts like a, a surfing post, you know, him and some friends or whatever out surfing. And then later on, he posted a picture of him doing jujitsu, right, like after class or something. You know how everyone takes pictures after they're sweating and working out. You know, take a post jujitsu picture. And uh, someone commented on his Twitter that. Um, man, must be a rough life, you know, must be tough, you know. And he said he just kind of sat back and thought about it for a minute. He said he felt bad. He felt guilty, you know. And as the replies or the comments were coming in on the on the Twitter post, someone commented back and was like, discipline equals freedom. Like, why would you feel bad about that? Why would you feel guilty from years of hard work that put you where you're at today to enjoy uh, what you're doing, right? And uh, then I guess the individual really wasn't trying to be like too salty. He just made a comment like, oh, you know, must be must be a rough life, you know, work out, surf, jujitsu. And I guess he plays a guitar too or whatever, something like that, you know. So um, I can definitely relate to that, uh, that, that scenario, that situation, because I get that sometimes with, uh, certain individuals. Now, like Jocko said, he goes, man, I'm far from being like the most successful person there is, but he is enjoying and reaping the benefits of years of sacrifice, hard work and hardships. And, uh, you know, he's talking about blood, sweat and tears and everything like that. For example, he said a lot of people don't know that he used to live on, you know, he was living on Navy pay for a while and he's him and his wife and his kids, I guess they had three kids or whatever, a couple kids. And, they were living on a house by the beach. They wanted to be by the beach. And he said it was like 1,300 square feet. No, I thought he said it was like 800 square feet. I think it was 800 square feet. Don't get me wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was something small. It was like a small house, right? And he said that his mattress, his, his bedroom for him and his wife was basically the front living room. When you walk in the front door to the right or left, there was a mattress on the floor. Like they slept on the floor. And he goes, we live like that for like two years. Like we just, we just roughed it, you know? And he said, you know, they borrowed a lot of money. They, they did what they had to do, um, you know, saved and, you know, did all the other stuff that they were doing. And then in time, now they're living in a nice house by the beach, a much nicer house with much more room and everything else. But no one really knows that him and his wife with a couple of kids are living in this 800 square foot house, sleeping on the floor in the living room on a mattress. Like they don't have an actual bedroom. Their living room is their bedroom. So... And on and on and on, all the things and years of sacrifice that he's done got him to where he's at today. So he goes, man, you know, someone basically just threw my own advice at me or my own, what I say, threw it right back at me. He's like, why would you feel bad about that? Why would you feel guilty about working so hard that now you get to reap some of those benefits? Like, that's what it's about. That's what we're doing. And then he also said, like, it's not done yet. Like, no one... You, you don't get somewhere and then it stops. Like you still got to get up and get back to work. You still have to get up and grind. You still got to get up and lift weights and do what you got to do. It's the job never ends. It's just, you get, you get, you start off somewhere and you have to, you know, uh, battle all these things that life throws your way. And you get to a point where it is better, but it never stops. You got to keep working. And I bring this up because the other day, um, you know, for those that know Danielle, know me, you know, Danielle, uh, she brought up, um, which is my daughter, for those that don't know me. Um, she does jiu-jitsu, been trained jiu-jitsu for 11 years, something like that. Anyways, she's going on a trip. 
And she just said she felt uh, guilty, uh, privileged, whatever the case may be. And I'm like, well, why would you feel that way? You know, like I worked my butt off. Like I worked really, really hard over all these years to get to where you get where I got to, to allow my kid to do what I'm allowing her to do. OK. And yeah, she's in, she's not doing this thing on her own. But me as a parent um, work really hard to allow my kid to do the things that she wants to do or that I want her to do or see her do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no one knows. A lot of people don't know, except for the friends that we grew up with. Knew that, uh, know that we grew up, um, you know, I had Danielle like at 19. So it was like, that was rough. You know, I did things a lot of ways, you know, backwards, you know, so uh, it wasn't always easy. You know, had some really crappy jobs, um, dealt with a lot of crappy supervisors, um, tried this, tried that. I mean, it, it was rough, right? But now I'm at a point where all these years over time, make better decisions, make better choices, do better things with my finances, you know, um, get a little smarter over the time, take advice from people, keep working, keep putting things in place. And then over time now, you, you know, we were able to do what we're able to do. You know, I just shared before I started this, this video, um, uh, one of my memories came up from Rome where seven years ago in 2013, I'm on the podium, double gold, uh, in Rome. And, uh, I was like, man, that's a good memory. Like, I, I miss those days where we were out traveling and doing that kind of stuff. Like, I've been to Rome a couple of times already, you know. And um, why would I feel guilty about all the hard work that I put in, especially with my jiu-jitsu, like starting my business with my academy. I would think we're a little over 12 years now, 12 and a half years. And starting in the garage with, like, four guys, you know, with duct tape and puzzle mats and cheap carpet padding from Home Depot and, you know, moving stuff out of the way and, and rolling on like cement in the garage, teaching jujitsu, um, you know, starting off that way to where we're at now with the facility that we have and the mats that we have and everything that we have, you know, that took years and years and years and years to get to. So um, what he was saying in the, Jocko was saying in the, in the middle of the podcast was like, you know, it was a little bit of luck, you know, like a little bit of putting yourself in just the right place, the right time, but it was a lot of hard work. So you put luck with hard work together and put yourself around the right people and make good decisions or better decisions, good things happen, right? Put yourself around the people, wrong people, make bad decisions, bad financial decisions, bad whatever decisions, be salty, hate on people, worry about what other people's doing and not what you're doing, you're never really going to get anywhere. What you got to do is, like he says, get up early, sacrifice, you know, make good decisions, you know, put the work in, uh, you know, don't hate on anyone over time, your time will come, but you have to put in the work like everyone else has to put in the work. It's not going to happen by, you know, looking at other people's posts or pictures and being, you know, kind of salty on where they're at and why you're not where you're at. If you put the energy in the right place, you will get there. It just takes time. But that's the thing. A lot of people don't see um, the successful people, um, what they had to go through to get to where they're at. They just see where they're at now. But no one sees the dark days, the rough days, the rainy days. You know, days where you just wanted to break down and just say, screw it, forget it, man, this is too hard. Um, I think anyone that's get that got to a place where you're at now, where you're happy, you had to go through some tough times. No one, I just don't, I just, as far as I know, don't wake up and just magically just get to somewhere without working hard and suffering and having some, some, some tough times and people, you know, stab you in the back or, or whatever the case may be, you got to go through some crappy stuff to get to where you're at. And then when you get there, still more work to do, still dealing with more people, doing dealing with more things to keep what you got and keep moving forward and keep growing. So um, yeah, it's really good stuff, man. Like I don't feel guilty uh, for the things that I have. Um, still want more. There's always room to improve, things to get better at. Uh, in everything, like there's so many areas to improve at that I really don't have time to sit around and look at other people's posts and what they're doing and wondering like, why can't I have that? I can't have that. I just need to go get it and get to work. So if that's you out there, 
on both ends. One end, you're where you're at, like you're happy with where you're at. Keep grinding, keep pushing forward, keep making those moves. Don't feel guilty for your at, especially for all the things that you had to go through to get to where you're at. And if you're on the other side of that, where you're looking at other individuals, be like, man, I want that. Like, like, how do I get that? Man, ask questions, put yourself around good people, um, you know, put in the work, get up early, make good financial decisions, um, you know, and things are going to happen. Things are definitely going to happen, but we're all tested for sure. And um, I know I've had many, many tests to where it's like, yeah, I don't know if this is all worth it anymore. This stuff gets a little too hard. It starts to make you question things and make you doubt things like, why did I get into this thing that I got to and give my entire life to this thing? Um, but that's, those are just tests. Those are meant to be there to see how bad you really want things and are you able to go get it. So there's those of you out there watching this that you, you there's something that you want. There's something that you see that other people that are that, that they're doing or living. You can have that, too. You just got to put in the work like everyone else and everyone else. Everyone's situation is different. You might not have to go through everything else that someone else went through. Maybe it won't be that hard. Maybe it'll be harder. But if you want it, you definitely can have it, man. We're in America, man. We live in the United States. Anything can happen, man. You just got to put in the work and, uh, you know, don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. And on the other side of that, man, don't get salty, man. Don't get hateful and, uh, you know, just sipping on a haterade all day because you're not going to get anywhere with that. You know, I'm happy for people. My whole my whole thing with me is I want to see people succeed. So the more people I'm around that are succeeding and doing good, man, that stuff's got to rub off, rub off on me some kind of way to where, you know, I'm picking up tips, picking up advice, picking up their energy, their vibes, um, seeing what they're doing. Stuff motivates me to where like, yeah, you know, I'm getting closer and I'm getting closer. But the other side of that, I also see those other individuals where it's like, yeah, it must be rough, tough life, you know, what was me kind of thing. Everyone's situation is different. You know, you might have had a harder upbringing than some other people. Doesn't really matter. It is what it is. You're at where you're at. And if you want to get out of where you're at, you got to put in the work. And when you get to that point where you get where you want to be, uh, don't feel guilty for the things that you got and things that you busted your butt for and, and had to, and had to um, you know, go through. So... Anyway, you guys, really good stuff today, man. I really like that episode. I listened to it all day yesterday, and I listened to it today. And I uh, just want to get that out there, man. So make some good things happen. Grind and put in the work, and we'll catch you next time. We'll see you.